Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag, and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so go ahead and take what applies to your situation and just leave the rest for someone else. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, my website information is down below in the description box or on the screen. And um, you can just go ahead and subscribe your email and that way I will send out an email notification when the availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. I appreciate it so, so much. Okay. Okay, this is, this is good. This is good. I have to show you guys what fell on the ground. Oh, this is so freaking perfect. Okay, so here's what I see happening. Okay, Saj, over this next week, like you'll see these really significant like moments or experiences play out for whoever this applies to. Okay, um, I feel as though the shaman coming out first Sorry, let me show that too. So there will be a little bit of this moment. Like I've been telling all the peeps, we have the Virgo full moon. So you might have a little bit of this healing moment come in. I don't know what type of a thing will happen. There's something that might come in where you see all the elements on this card. There's a snake, there's a skull, there's a diamond. It's pretty much kind of like this... Um, full moons are always about something some form of a completion right something completing something dissolving about you so that like a new transformation that comes in because you'll probably come into some type of a your energy will come out like you'll go through some form of a transformation for this through this Virgo full moon but I feel as though during this energy like for some of you guys something might come up to the surface that feels a little bit painful. I'm not going to lie. Because maybe you guys have been experiencing that. Like there's still a little bit of a transformation that you're going through that feels a little uncomfortable at times. So during this moment, you are you will probably become really clear about something that you're wanting. Like maybe it's... Um, Whatever it is, whatever environment or maybe a person or a thing, whatever it is, this realization will be born out of this moment, okay? Which is interesting that the seed is over here because it's a little bit kind of like the butterfly effect, okay? Everything about your little quantum energies is just sending these reverberations, reverberations out into the universe and it's kind of like... You might not even totally realize it, but it's kind of like affecting energies way out beyond you. So I, oh, this is so freaking cool, Sag. Okay, like I said, there will be something about this moment that is so significant because it will be kind of like in that moment, like I said, that this new energy will birth from you where you're kind of like, I really want this. It'll be a desire from deep within you and a seed that does get planted out into the universe. Now, this other experience connected to all of this is totally going to come in and help you to see this because we have the mystic and I almost feel as though some type of a situation will happen not too long after this experience. Whatever you start to feel like you put out into the universe, like, I want this, boom, it's almost like the universe totally, yeah, that, that typical term, the universe conspires to make it happen. It's that type of a moment. And then you will have an experience that comes in to, that you know, nobody else in the environment will know, but you will know. The mystic is like a mystic truth that you come to, that you kind of understand. And it could be something kind of magical where like maybe you have an animal come in that clarifies something or like you almost had like other um, 
beings or things that picked up on your energy but other people didn't like unconscious or other people that are more like kind of focused in the matrix or the 3d they're not in this whole mystical energy so they won't really understand it but you will <laughs> and you'll almost be sitting there kind of like just staring at the situation with your eyeball open you're just like what and it's going to bring this sweetness in with the nectar, which, which is exactly what you're needing to feed the energy with. This seed is almost needing this sweetness of your energy to really help it to grow, to help it to turn into something bigger. Because you're kind of like at the beginning phases of really pulling this into the reality. So this is very specific. Let's dive in here, okay? And I keep getting, I know I'm just repeating myself, but I keep getting this whole, like, the mystic, you will know, but nobody else will around you. They won't understand. And they might even, in a way, start to deny or kind of, like, for some of you guys, even gaslight you a little bit to make you feel, or, and some of you, because that's the mystic. Nobody understands the freaking mystic, because, but the mystic knows their own world. You know what you're picking up on. You know what it is. So you're like, well, it's pointless to even let anyone know like what's going on. But I know. I know what happened. I know why this experience is happening because it's pretty much like a total reflection. That's what I keep wanting to say. It's like this, the butterfly effect, which is crazy. The butterfly is in the mystic and there's like that whole ripple effect. Shiz. That's freaking cool, Sag. Dude. Okay. Well, that might be what I call this, is the butterfly freaking effect. Okay. Dude, no freaking way. I was hoping this card would come out. Okay. Dude, oh, I freaking love this deck so much. This card right here is actually the devil. And I was getting so many insights about this card today while I was meditating. I was like, oh my gosh. This is the devil card, which in his deck, he calls it a vessel. And I've been understanding more and more what he talked about in his deck about what these processes are. So there's some type of an energy and I feel like it's connected to shame. And you've had some type of a buildup of energy of kind of like maybe parts of yourself that you didn't even totally realize it, but you've been kind of ashamed of parts of yourself or kind of like... And it's, it's that quantum level, little tiny thoughts that you have that just build up these energies inside of you. It accumulates in your cells. And then usually when that energy becomes like too restrictive, because if you guys have seen that, that like a uh, vibrational scale of emotions, shame, guilt, and fear keep you at this restricted level. It's like you have this huge vortex of energy and you stay down at the bottom, which is very restrictive. Like you don't have a lot of movement. Your reality even feels like it starts to close in around you. So usually at that time, you attract some type of a devil situation. And it can come in the form of a human. It can come in the form of tons of things. But it's almost like a mortification process where your shame finally dissolves somehow because that's the vessel of kind of like it's almost like a pandora's box almost you open up the lid to let that energy out so that you can kind of transform to the next process or to whatever you're trying to get to kind of like it's an archetypal shift too i feel like this energy comes in every time that you're shifting to whatever next level that you're getting to because there's always going to be an archetypal shift that happens in between there. Because you're moving states. You're moving energetic states. You're moving quantum states. You're taking quantum leaps into whatever next phase of your life that you're creating for yourself. So there's definitely a vessel that's coming in there to do that, okay? Now, we have the commander. And this energy is, I believe it's the King of Pentacles. It's fascinating because I thought that this was going to be kind of like this angry person. But no, I feel sad. That's almost like your energy that's going to be coming in. Your determination is going to be so freaking fierce. 
you'll just see kind of your state shift where it's almost like, and this was the vessel to that. Whatever this experience that will come in over this next week, it's to help you to get to this next level of success for yourself. And it will take this level of determination where you're like, I'm not giving up no matter what. Like, I'm never going to give up. That's the King of Pentacles. He's very persistent, very like committed to whatever process he's going through. So you also have the seven of embers. And this is kind of like, see how it's, yeah, it's the Phoenix rising coming out of a book. There's certain things from your past. Like this is you applying the things that you've learned from in the past into your current situation. So that's what I was trying to say is almost like there's something that you've learned from the past, some type of a process that you went through oh shiz let me say this okay um sag some of you guys might be dealing with like a very um profound relationship that's been very key to your transformation and in the past okay so there will be something some of you guys might be feeling like it's challenging to break the connection with a particular person and you're feeling like it has been helpful because you're almost getting more and more of this fire and determination to really transform out of this whole process that you've been going through. But I feel as though um, what will be beneficial and probably the only thing that will help is, like I said, that mortification process. Because... The only real way, if you have someone that's almost, I'm just going to throw this out there for some of you guys, if you're dealing with this, if you have someone that is still very addicted to you, Sag, um, cause I wouldn't be surprised with the vessel, which is the devil. And then the commander, the king of pentacles, you have something like this could be higher knowledge, but I'm just going to throw this out there. There could have been something about a key point of interaction that you had with this person where they exposed something a vulnerability about themselves and the only real way that you're going to be able to break the connection is if in some way and it's not in a malicious way but the only way that they will ever really give up is if they get their transformation because like i said all of us as humans the only thing that really transforms us is shame and vulnerability. And if that person never really did that, but they're still addicted to you because they're wanting control or they're wanting to kind of get their transformation, they're not, it's not, that's the surface level of things underneath. They're looking for their shame to be exposed so that they can transform. They, they needed almost you as a vessel to get to whatever they're going to. Because there's this seed energy, this new sweet energy that's coming in from all this, okay? So freaking, dude, these are some crazy energies. So we have the nine of birds, okay? And the seven of birds. That's like the nine of swords and the seven of swords. This is some pretty intense energy because I feel as though, um, try, I know it's easier said than done. But try not to let yourself get too overcome by your thoughts because the nine of swords is kind of like if you make decisions from a place of fear or paranoia, you won't make an accurate shot. See how it's like a bow and arrow? You'll miss your mark. So it's kind of like seven of swords. It's, it's almost like you need to kind of pull back and almost be a little bit more tactical and reasonable. This is tactics and strategics. So you need to be a little bit more like kind of, it's fascinating that sevens are surrounding that nine of swords right there because it's kind of like, don't let your mind overtake you in this situation where you're, you have like defiance or paranoia that comes in where even though you're probably right, like even for some of you guys, this might not be a personal person. This also could be like societally, like you have issues with authoritative figures. And even though you might be right, the approach won't be, won't give you a correct like shot or a correct way to really approach the situation. You have to change your frequency. You have to change your vibe to really, it's almost like you can't outsmart them or this situation. You have to out-vibe it. 
you're that's what's really going to be the shift that takes place because what's coming in freaking dude i cannot make this up you have the ace of pentacles the ace of trees that's the seed dude i cannot make that up that that popped out because it that's the seed right there it's gonna start growing so don't freak out because you have this new energy that's coming in to start creating stable energy for you and it's bringing a lot of emotional fulfillment, okay? You will be able to handle this situation for whoever this is for. It's going to turn out really freaking good. So I will dive into the extended. We'll see whatever other messages want to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Sag, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.